Good evening. The Regina Public School Board meeting on Pride turned into pure passion last night after trustees voted down a motion to make LGBTQ celebrations mandatory. While schools still have the option to participate in Pride events, the motion created confusion and sparked anger. Cole Davenport has more. I want to Kids are going to die! Thank you for taking time to write. I'm not a new person. Look at these kids and tell them that they don't matter. We're your family. We're not being respected this time. So are you going to respect us? You represent us. I want respect. I want my child to be respected. I want you to respect. Election day is October 2020. October 20. Emotions running high at a Regina Public School Board meeting Tuesday. It's not okay what you're doing! The reason? A 4-3 vote against a motion that would have effectively made Pride events mandatory in schools. Anger was fueled by misinformation and misconceptions that it was a vote against schools holding Pride events and even having gay straight alliances. In the aftermath, Regina Public Schools is assuring people that schools can continue holding those celebrations and running GSAs as they have in years past, but are not obligated to partake. GSAs don't end. Uh, support at the school level doesn't end. Pride activities do not end. That was not even contemplated as we went about the vote. The matter is now being put forward to a committee who will determine things like if there's consistency in celebrations across the schools and if anything of that sort is even needed. That's what the board is saying. Let's stop, pause it, and really give this careful consideration. Not knee jerk. Let's not set a timeline that's too short, but the, let's give this the attention that needs. That's a discussion the LGBTQ community wants to be part of. I definitely hope that the uh, trustees take the advice of uh, uh, one of the uh, community members in, present, um, that the committee uh, involve the community in its processes, and I'm uh, going to hold them to that. The board says it's already been reaching out to pride advocates and paying close attention to feedback that's already been received, highlighting one who had this message. They said don't de debate, relate. And I think that is absolutely key to us moving forward. The school board adds one result of this will eventually be more clarity and direction on how events are celebrated in both the division and its schools. There are hopes to have that process finished by the time Pride Month rolls around again in June. Cold Avonport, CTV News, Regina. I heard that there was confusion around what the wording of the emotion actually was and I think that's what caused them to pause and say let's get this right. We don't want to just say yes to something that we're not even sure what we're saying yes to and so I think that's more the concern that we heard from trustees tonight. I thought that it would be a simple matter of our public school division sending a message from the top that uh, pride celebrations are fine and something that we support as we do with multicultural festivals, as we do with uh, reconciliation and treaty education, um, but obviously the motion failed. It's a decision that left many outraged, choosing to walk out as emotional outbursts echoed throughout the room. 
there was some hope that the Regina Public School Board would put some teeth into into ensuring that LGBTQ kids uh, rights were, were maintained in their schools and that just didn't happen. In a 4-3 vote, Regina School Board trustees struck down a motion to recognize and support the celebration of Pride and fly the rainbow flag at school facilities each June. I just brought this forward because I, I thought it represented our schools, I thought it represented our shared values, I thought it represented our, um, our community. Instead, the decision is being met with a cloud of confusion and misinformation. After the meeting, the director of Regina Public Schools reached out to staff in an email saying, the vote does not mean schools must stop celebrating pride. I think the board really sincerely wanted to give complete latitude to have good discussion. In response, Cannot Community School posted this to Facebook saying, we will fight for the right to show that love wins. I've responded to 300 or so of the email. And board trustee Adam Hicks, who voted in favor, posted this video, saying a majority of those in the community who reached out supported the motion. This will be a conversation we will be continuing and, 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 and we need to continue it. But some are questioning the message it sends to LGBTQ youth. There's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of fear. If, if the motion had passed, then, then it would have closed that conversation and, and affirmed Regina Public School Board's support of, of, of LGBT communities. The issue is now up for further discussion and consultation, although no timeline has been set. Caitlin Wilson, Global News.